Oh, shit. Because that shit's old and all trashy from 1980s when people were running CCD cameras. I thought your cameras were CCD. They are, that's why I'm trash. Do what? Yeah, it changed it to kiss rates. How do you do so that? You oh, yeah, you can't. Can't yeah, do that so you go. Is that for us? Yeah. Dang, bro, living in 1984. You know, I had <laughs> I had a bunch of old fucking motors that I was gonna put on Nerf Blast. Now I'm just working Wait, did you, through. Did you not even know I don't even know if they call the channel rates, man. <laughs> oh, well. The tune came. I don't even know if it'll handle it. We'll see. Remember 1984? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll be I'll be delicate. I'm not gonna like thrash. About ten years here. I'm not gonna thrash. I mean, you don't have my five hundred dollar camera on there. So you're good. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Oh my god, you're actually going back in time. Oh. Single ES. Oh, that's too fast. Too fast. It's okay. I can get used to it. It is a little fast, but it handles it okay. God damn, this thing is sensitive. Holy rate situation. They're they're a little too sensitive. Did you check and see if he had uh, any expo on it? I just all I did, did was change you? the rates. Yeah, he, yeah, Mike still have his expo on it. It's in like a quarter of a second. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, it's a little twitchy. <laughs> However, that's okay because then I notice if there's any latency or not, right? What you see? So far, I don't know. I don't notice anything. However, what are the downsides? You said the VTX is massive, and it doesn't have as good a penetration. Doesn't have as good a penetration, and you gotta have these fucking big ass beefy guys on your uh, well, on your, go on your goggles. Who's making goggles though? They're actually making them open source. You can 3D print the whole goggle. That sounds stupid. Yeah. Everybody's all open source. Why can't you just do some open source stuff right. and stop being just dumb? Make a good product. And yeah. Sell it. You're like, I don't want it to be so closed source. Well, you know what? It'd be great if you just made a product in general. Yeah, right. I don't know. I'm a hater. But I don't think the latency is a problem. And that's probably the first time ever that I've ran a CMOS camera and ever been like, wow, the latency isn't a problem. Because CCD, that's the problem right now. So CCD is impossible to get. Oh, shit. Because that shit's old and all trashy from 1980s when people were running CCD cameras. I thought your cameras were CCD. They are, that's why I'm trash. You were saying that the, the white skin has stuff, the brown gets blurred. Yeah, this Is doesn't that do that. Yeah. This doesn't do that at all. That's what I do really like. About oh shit, sorry, I touched the ground. Full, <laughs> you have a full fucking clear view. I mean, it feels like a really good analog signal yeah. is what it feels like. Yeah. Like, that's what it looks like. I have per perfect clarity of the ground, I have perfect clarity of every little pebble on the street, which is definitely not the case when I flew the Woke Snail system. Yeah, this feels like just analog, but at its best possible ever. Yeah. That's usually how I explain it to people. If you say it any other way. So still better than but still better than a walking. He's fired for it, saying that shit. It feels good. It's kinda got this like <laughs> it's kinda got this analogy washed out color palette to it too. I don't I don't know if it's specific to this. You camera. can get it really like contrasting So I'm yeah, like I think that just fell off. I'm like sure I'm like right around oh, no, the corner. That's a Source 1v3 skid. That's a, I'm like around the building and I'm getting some decent breakup. I just wanted to see the, the penetration. But as far as like... Oh, there was a... There was seemingly a little latency right there. I'm gonna... Come in and crash, sorry. 3.2 volts per cell is pretty solid, right? It's fine. You owe me a fucking battery. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna just give this man a bunch of batteries. So, you see here, guys? so I have all the room here to put whatever the fuck. So the idea right now is that it's kind of like an air unit in some way, shape, or form because it has to be specific. The frame has to be made for it. Yeah. And then there are, I think there are some frames coming out where there's room in the back. Um, and there's 30, and 30, the 30, devs 30. are very a uh, very hardcore about their open source and 3D printing everything. That's not necessarily that's not necessarily a problem, but so when are the goggles coming out? Because this is unnecessarily large. Yeah. 
Oh, I mean, not really anymore. That's even less. So they have their own the DRX now because Fat, Fat Shark stopped making yeah, that's all the, the old version. Oh. Yeah, this is the old version. The new version just has SMAs on the side. So, so how many? With even but more the new shit. version, I heard the new version actually has slightly worse signal handling at that close range. Oh, I don't know. So how many yeah. thousands of iterations are you going to have to go through before you have a setup that works well? Like this works well, yeah. but how many iterations of this did you get? Like how many BTXs have you gone through? As in, like to get to, this to, get to the the setup that this works point. well. I'm on my third camera. So what's up with the cameras? BTX. Why are the cameras? The first cameras were the Foxy or Digi sites. Yeah, and they were just the yeah, way that they the would that resolve. Was the problem, so yeah. like if you're looking at trees and there's blue sky behind it, <coughs> yeah. the way it resolves the blue behind the trees was just completely fucked. Mm. Like I couldn't, I could barely fly in my uh, yard because it's so you had to go through. So what camera is that? So this is the HD0, Runcam makes them for HD0, okay. it's the Micro V2, that's like pretty much the best. The best one. HD0 and then what's right that BTX? That's on that's the newest the one, one watt, BTX, the newest yeah. one watt BTX. From HD0? From HD0. Are, they Im are they impossible to find? I'm, I'm sure you could find one. Yeah, well, I'm talking about for other people. For other people. Because the problem is, is like, yeah, they're a DJI, hard. you can just buy shit, right? Yeah. This, you, like... So, HD0 is in that place where you have one guy who's really awesome. fucking passionate about it. Yeah. And he wants everybody to take his shit and make it, but nobody will take his shit and make it. Because it's like, it's good, but it's not DJI good. Yeah. So, he has gone through the process of spending money, having people make it for him. Yeah. So, like, run cam, he basically... You know, juice them up to make cameras for him and shit. I like your EFC. Yeah, I mean the camera is solid. The VTX size is a little big. Yeah. This is annoying because you can't put that in any goggle yeah. bag. And so it's still better than DJI. The, yeah. The, well, in the yeah. HD zero well, shit, zero goggles. goggles. Well, well, not with those like it would be tans. cool if it was this size, but it was all one piece. Which is yeah. what the new which is what the goggles. Yeah. The goggles won't be a whole lot bigger than these actual goggles. But the cool thing is they have like an HDMI in, they have an HDMI out, they have an AV. What in, optics AV are they? Who makes them? That's a good question. I don't know. Because yeah. he's making Carl. Well, I know like Fat out. Shark took a decade to get good optics, and right. then you're comparing it to like basically everything else that's not Fat Shark is a clone of a Fat Shark. Yeah. And then DJI has their own shit, which isn't like a fat shark at all. I would hope he's working with Skyzone or somebody. Yeah. You know, like like somebody who has gone through this process. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah what's the what's the low light? So low light's okay, yeah. but okay. there's not enough money because people won't manufacture. Totally fine. Okay. Yeah. Wow. What it reminds me of is what I think analog looks like after I fly it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what you think you remember? You remember yeah. Of analog? yeah. Yeah. But like, cause DJI, you're in it and you're like, wow, this looks like I'm flying HD. In the walk snail system, I'm like, this is just a fucking watercolor painting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then this was like, what I think of the best possible scenario for analog. That's, yeah. what, and it's, yeah. I mean, I wish that was enough for people too. They, and it, I think it is. I mean, after I think it at, is for some. Yeah, I think it is. Look. My problem is, is who would you recommend it for? So if you're a new pilot, I just recommend DJI to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this lizard. Oh, lizard. There's always an animal. That's, that's the one that jumped off. There's, the there's always an animal in my videos. People are like, bro, just do that cockroach at 37 minutes. It was fucking crawling on the wall. And as far as recommending it to somebody, it's you kind of a pain in the ass because you got to buy a goggle set, you got to buy this thing, you got to get the right one because you said there's another one that's not as good. I think they're backwards. Yeah. Well, they don't. I don't think you can buy those anymore unless you buy them off. You can buy uh, the HD second, Zero. Second yeah, that, market, those yeah. are basically not available anymore. Yeah. I mean, the people that I would recommend it to are people who've flown analog for a while, who want something better, but they don't want the perceived latency. Well, so better is a deceiving a deceiving term because if you have the best of analog. It's probably only like 15 to 20 percent better yeah. than that, yeah. but it's a lot more complex. So if you already have the best of analog, why would you change exactly. a setup that works well enough? I would still yeah, the say people the that resolution you... on that looks a lot better. It's than better. Than it does look better, but is it stopping you from doing anything? Like, is it stopping me from going <laughs> through, a certain, through a certain gra gap? I mean, oh. I mean, I can tell you when I moved to it, I got way the fuck more confident confident but well that might be because my analog setup prior was kind of shitty though. and it might be just because you don't have uh, like so for me as for instance like i'm not any more confident with digital but i have a fuckload of experience on analog right, right, right. so if you don't have experience on analog 
but you, but it's just how much is it compared to DJI? If, probably more expensive. If you're if you're factoring in buying the goggles as well, it's probably more expensive. Yeah. Because those are five hundred dollar goggles. Yeah. Plus the VTX, yeah, the VTX is a hundred bucks. The camera is fifty bucks. So, but it's not good for racers because the VTXs are too big. Well, there's a race VTX. Okay. Yeah, that's the that's the this is the one one. That they want. So do racers use this? Yeah, racers love this shit. So are people completely switching from? Are they switching from analog to this? That's what it seems like. Yeah. Okay. The or race the, world is where this really. Well, should. that's what I was gonna say. That seems like the way it would sell is for people that want to race. race. A good balance between yeah. low latency yeah, yeah. and good picture. Yeah. What it seems like. Yeah, they have some was. like race. What's yeah, the compatibility? They have like a race VRX. Too. What's the compatibility with other people on this in the air, or this and other people, and this and DJI? Like, how do they play together? If you're flying this, I can tune in the same way as with the analog too. It's the same. Okay. Assuming. Our firmwares are relatively close together. Okay. <laughs> so me and him fly. But if yeah. DJI hat, he's fine typically. Okay. Oh yeah, flying with other people. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah I treat we, it we like make sure our, our Do you are see good? like digital lines in it if you fly with DJI people? No, which is my the video. Gets the video is just video. bad. Yeah. Hmm. So, seemingly, it's for people that have been racing for a long time, and want something that's a better picture. So, I mean, basically in like two to three years, it's probably going to be maybe not even that long. Or maybe a year, a year when the goggles come out and the VTXs get smaller. Because right now the problem for me with analog is I can't get the cameras that I like anymore. The VTXs are, and so I can't get the OSD board that makes the video really good anymore. So like basically my setup is completely obsolete because you can't buy it. Right, right. This you could technically buy and it's better. You might have a little bit of trouble. Fine. Well, but it's easier. You can't buy any of my right, shit. Right. Some people are like, oh, what a Mr. Steve claw. And I'm like, well, fuck, you're screwed unless yeah. you buy it, the HD <laughs> yeah. one and put Good DJI in. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've got a bunch of stashed at my house, but, you know, I'm not selling those. That's the biggest thing, because, like, I was really thinking about going that way when I started. And the range of DJI is what kills that for me. It depends on what you want to do. Exactly. Like, if you're flying yeah. fast and you need the latency, then this is probably the way to go. At yeah. the same time, I don't fly I've seen far several from people on that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like the sound of the quad, so I like to be close. Can you get audio on this? No. Not, not as of right now. But he could integrate it, because it's obviously open source. I don't have, I don't have the answer. Put fucking audio on it, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. He, now, he is working on, like, a V2 of the whole system yeah. that will, I guess, go up to 1080. Oh, I don't need that shit. Yeah. Just put audio in it. We don't need 1080p. It's good enough. It's better than the Walksnail 1080p that I flew. It's better than, like I said, this is like DJI, but with low latency. Or is it, so is it consistent latency or is it? Yes. Hmm. So what we need to do is we need to get smaller VTXs because Runcam's got the camera situation on lockdown. Yeah. We need smaller VTXs. They're working with Fox here. We need a better <laughs> goggle. So a more integrated goggle. Audio. And audio, and I would be sold on it. I think if those three things were adios. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for flying it. Yeah, I uh, honestly was impressed. I knew I would probably be a little more impressed than the walk snail. I just like the walk snail, the goggle. Yeah. The goggle is what makes the yeah. walk snail system. Well, I saw you put that video up, and I was like, this looks like shit, man. And yeah. you didn't really mention HD zero throughout the video too, and I was like, I just, you should just try it. Yeah. Just, the problem is, is you're going up against a giant. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I would expect it to be right yeah. under. You yeah. cannot yeah. beat DJI yeah. at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the problem the with it is, right now, if you, if you're new, just fucking buy DJI. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no reason not to. But you're gonna be it's a better. A hard time to spend that much money. It's not that much. But you know, you're buying already outdated tech. Is the only thing. Like. But it, is it outdated? Year, like, people are going to use it forever. Right, no, it's going to be flyable, and I think yeah, we're going to keep getting vistas. But in a year, you're going to be like, fuck, I should have gone with it. I want to play with it. Yeah, well, that's what we haven't heard of. Like, but that, that's just getting that, into the hobby that's just that building out their fleet. That's 150 good. bucks a pop every good. time versus, you know, spending $20 on a camera. Yeah, and that is bucks on a camera. It's like three times as much per quad just for the camera system. Yeah. Hmm. But that, how much are the VTXs, you said? Right at 100. The, the big ones are 100 bucks. For the one watt? Yeah, the brace ones are like uh, 60 or 70. Yeah. And then the there's model. a whoop one 
It's like 50. So they have a whoop set up, a 1S whoop set up now too. A little fucking tiny camera yeah. and like a wicked light VTX. So that's the other side of the coin. Mm -hmm. Is that because those VTXs are a little smaller, it's cool for the whoop side of things because you can't cram a whole Vista in a little yeah. tiny Well, people decase them and shit, but I get it. Yeah. Don't you know?